Hello. Please hit like button and subscribe my channel. Also press bell icon for future video notifications. Thanks. Compared to chimpanzees, our closest evolutionary cousins, humans are particularly prone to developing advanced carcinomas, the type of tumors that include prostate, breast, lung and colorectal cancers, even in the absence of known risk factors, such as genetic predisposition or tobacco use. A recent study led by researchers at University of California San Diego School of Medicine and Morris Cancer Center helps explain why. The study, published December 9, 2020 in Facet BioAdvances, suggests that an evolutionary genetic mutation unique to humans may be at least partly to blame. At some point during human evolution, the CGLIC-12 gene, and more specifically, the CGLIC-12 protein it produces as part of the immune system, suffered a mutation that eliminated its ability to distinguish between self and invading microbes, so the body needed to get rid of it, said Senior. But it's not completely gone from the population, it appears that this dysfunctional form of the CGLIC-12 protein went rogue and has now become a liability for the minority of people who still produce it. Ajeev Varki, who is also co-director of both the Glycobiology Research and Training Center. In a study of normal and cancerous tissue samples, the researchers discovered that the approximately 30% of people who still produce CGLIC-12 proteins are at more than twice the risk of developing an advanced cancer during their lifetimes, compared to people who cannot produce CGLIC-12. Normally, genes that encode such dysfunctional proteins are eliminated by the body over time, and approximately two-thirds of the global human population has stopped producing the CGLIC-12 protein. Where the gene still hangs around in humans, it was long thought be of no functional relevance, and there have been very few follow-up studies over the two decades since it was discovered. Meanwhile, chimpanzees still produce functioning CGLIC-12. When Nisi Varki's team set out to detect the CGLIC-12 in non-cancerous tissue samples using an antibody against the protein, approximately 30% of the samples were positive as expected from the genetic information. In contrast, the majority of advanced cancer samples from the same populations are positive for the CGLIC-12 protein. Looking at a different population of patients with advanced stage colorectal cancer, the researchers found that more than 80% had the functional form of the CGLIC-12 gene, and those patients had a worse outcome than the minority of patients without it. These results suggest that the minority of individuals who can still make the protein are at much greater risk of having an advanced cancer, Nisi Varki said. Please support our channel to grow by pressing subscribe button as well as the bell icon for daily science updates. Thank you.